Hello guys, Brad here again with another video. And uh, recently I saw that uh, a couple of fragrance reviewers, Steven and Carlos, have uh, started this new tag. Um, it's called something like Four Fragrances for Life, One House. Now, I recently did a tag video uh, with four, uh, four fragrances from different houses, and that was tricky enough. But this... You know, this really ups the ante a little bit because now you have to pick one house. And really, there's not uh, too many fragrance houses that uh, I have in my collection where I have four full-size bottles and also a decent fragrance for each season. But uh, I think there is one house that I do uh, own quite a few bottles from, and I think I can cover all my bases with that house. That is the house of Xenia. Uh, Xenia is a house that... Uh, I've been a big fan of for quite a long time since the early years of my fragrance channel. Um, so really, Azania is is pretty much uh, the default choice here because uh, I, I've always enjoyed their fragrances so much. You know, there's Ted Baker, but a lot of my Ted Baker videos were based off of samples or minis. So uh, I don't think I have enough full-size bottles to cover that house. Um of course, these other houses, um, I, again, probably don't have enough bottles. And if I do, I think a lot of fragrance houses uh, seem to favor a particular season. Like, I think John Barbato's, you know, is more of a cool weather fragrance house. And like Aqua de Parma, uh, a lot of their uh, fragrances are more for spring and summer. So it's hard to find a balanced house that covers all your bases. And at the same time, something that you enjoy enough that you actually own at least four bottles from. But uh, let's go with my uh, choice here from the House of Xenia. So let's start with my spring choice. Uh, let's go with uh, one of their uh, high-end uh, Ascenza fragrances. This one is called uh, Sicilian Mandarin. Um, now, if you're familiar with these uh, Ascenza bottles, you know, they're kind of pricey. I think they're uh, some of them retail for about $200 a piece. And this one it has been discontinued, I believe. Here's what the bottle looks like. Nice magnetic cap. Uh, so like the name suggests, has a nice uh, burst of mandarin. Uh, but there's also, I believe, some Neroli in here too. So um, a nice citrus uh, fragrance with that classy Italian quality to it. I think it'd be a good one for the office. Um, I haven't really worn this one a lot, but uh, I think I could... Uh, see myself wearing this one on a regular basis in the hot weather because, you know, as an older guy, you know, the classic Italian approach seems to be a good way to go. And then when it gets a little bit hotter in the months of summer, uh, well, now we're going in the opposite direction. This is a much cheaper fragrance from the House of Zenia. Zenia Z, this is, I think, the Zenia fragrance that kind of started my whole um, journey into the Zenia house. Zenga Z, just a nice uh, aquatic scent. Um, it's you know not as classy and refined, I think, as uh, the Ascenza citrus fragrances. But this is basically just like your your standard uh, designer aquatic fragrance. Great one for hot weather, and uh, certainly worth checking out if you haven't already. Zenga Z. Then we get into some fall months where it gets a little bit cooler, and you maybe want something a little bit sweeter or heavier darker for that i decided to go with zanga forte zanga forte yes a good cool weather scent it's, again even though it, you can probably get this one on for a grant fragrance net for maybe 20 25 dollars really nice looking bottle has like a smoked glass look to it a forte this one it's got the tobacco in there but it's very sweet like a honeyed tobacco of some spice in there so uh you know for the fall i think i will go with uh my bottle of forte and of course now we're getting to some very cold wintry weather and you want something again kind of dark spicy sweet and hey, might as well break out my big boy right here um bourbon vanilla I'm glad i picked this one up actually even though you know, it's an expensive fragrance. It's been discontinued, and uh, it's practically impossible to find anywhere on eBay. You might occasionally see a bottle for sale for about three hundred dollars, maybe some decans floating around. But uh, yeah, this this is like my uh, 
alternative to tobacco vinny. It kind of has that same kind of a vibe to it. It's not a tobacco scent, but just like a a sweet, spicy vanilla scent, and it's great for cooler weather. Um, and Zeng has a lot of other fragrances. I could have easily made my uh, rotation for four fragrances for life as well. In fact, if, I, if this was a serious list, I probably would consider Zeng is Uomo, which uh, is like a violet leaf fragrance. Kind of has a similar vibe to uh, Yves Saint Laurent's La Homme Libre. So uh, if I if I uh, wanted a fragrance for life, I would probably consider getting that one. I think another one is uh, Intensa, which is a really nice fragrance. It's kind of like a fruity uh, fragrance, like a fruitier version of uh, Armani's Code. So that's another one that I might consider as well. If I had a bottle, I uh, just had some samples of that one. So those are my four choices for this fragrance tag. From the house of Zenya, great house if you're looking for all seasons of fragrances. Um, some of these are discontinued and hard to find. Some of them can be found at cheap on discount sites. Some you'll have to shell out some big bucks to find because uh, they're discontinued and very expensive. So uh, just uh, try to be uh, careful with uh, how you spend your money here. If you can find a good price on a Zang, you pick it up. If it's uh, you know somebody trying to rob you, might want to think about an alternative. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.